welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. Hundreds of fans will sit in these exact same seats throughout the weekend here at the Bauer Showcase. Our own Nick Bowser has the opportunity to speak to the fans about their Bauer fan experience. And what do you think of the BCHL? Do you like that tempo of hockey compared to other junior leagues? Uh, yeah, like my friend actually, Mitch Plevy, he's playing for the Chilliwack Chiefs this year, so me and a couple other buddies out to watch him, and yeah, it's pretty cool that it's like a, seems like it's a way bigger deal than Junior B, right? Like it's more, it's more like of a, yeah, bigger deal. <laughs> Great opportunity for the scouts to see these young players, and uh, they see them all in one spot, so it, I guess logistically it makes it very easy for them, and uh, it's just a great opportunity for them to spot the young talent. What do you think about the level of play at the BCHL? Uh, I enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good level. It's a good fast-paced hockey, and I know the kids really want to try hard to get somewhere, so it's nice to watch. Do you come to many BCHL games? Yeah, I'm season ticket holder for the Chiefs. Yeah. Great, thank you, Nick. I'm joined with Ron Stasiak, the Western Scout for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Why is this event so big for scouts, Ron? Well, it's a good chance to uh, see everybody in uh, one locality and, uh, you know, see who's done the work over the summer. And for the scouts from the amateur side, it gives us a chance to review some of the guys that we looked at last year, see how far they progressed, as well as look at some of the first-time draft eligible players. So is it better for a scout to do an event like this, the beginning, middle, or end of the season? Well, probably the uh, at this time of year, just so that you can start a database and now you have a baseline and you have something in terms of a frame of reference to see how far the players do advance over the course of the year. As a scout, what are you looking for in hockey players? Well, I think everybody looks for uh, skill and that starts with skating ability and then, you know, your puck skills, your hockey sense, positioning. And then, of course, if you can throw size into it, that's great. But uh, first, uh, first and foremost, it's obviously skill. The way the game's played nowadays, a lot of speed, and you have to be able to handle the puckets with a lot of speed and make decisions very quickly. So if you can add those components with some size, it makes for an outstanding player. And not to put you on the spot or anything, but is there any outstanding players so far you've been watching? Yeah, I, I think there's uh, probably at least uh, 10 players that we have our eyes on right now. And uh, there again, we'll monitor them over the course of the year. And, and at the same time, the older players have a bit of an advantage because they've been through this. So some of them look very good and that's where you want to be careful and don't get fooled and make sure there's still some room for growth with them as well. Great, thank you. Thank you. We're passing over to Nick Bowser who's talking to Jason Argy, the starting goaltender for the Dynamo Clippers. Jason, you stopped 43 shots and your first win of the season. How does it feel? It uh, feels good. It's just nice to get that first win for the team and the boys. And uh, I mean, we're going to have to have a better effort tomorrow. Can I get your thoughts on the showcase in general? I mean, you have nearly 200 scouts watching you guys play throughout these three days. Uh, it's a big moment for a lot of people, including myself. And, uh, you know, you have to put it all out there and just try and, try and do your best and try and get the win, and then you'll impress the scouts. And now, does it make any difference that it's a quick turnaround for your game tomorrow against Prince George? Uh, I don't know. We just have to quickly set our mindset and forget about this one. Uh, it's in the past. It's a good win, and to tomorrow we have to get the win. Thank you so much, Jason. Yeah, no problem. Great, thank you, Nick. The Clippers just defeated the West Clinton Warriors right now, and this is what it looks like after games. All these scouts waiting behind, waiting for players to come out. This is how many scouts here. There's probably at least 100 or so scouts here looking for each individual player entire, the entire weekend. Right now, I pass it over to Nick Bowser, who has said Lloyd from the West Clinton Warriors. I'm here with Seb Lloyd from the West Kelowna Warriors. Seb, how hard is this loss after you guys had 48 shots on net? Uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, I think even both games, we had over 40 shots, and uh, to not get uh, wins in either of them, uh, it's tough. And I mean, I guess all we got to do is uh, do a better job capitalizing on our chances. How do you regroup and uh, take these two losses in stride and prepare for the rest of your season? I think it's just a hard day of work on Monday, Tuesday, you know, get back to uh, Kelowna, get practicing and uh, just iron some things out. Uh, I mean, I think we definitely played well enough to win that one and uh, I mean, it's just unfortunate that we lost. And now as a season in, in general, yourself individually, how does your role change now that you're one of the veteran guys and you're the second leading scorer on the team last year now with Marcus Basra gone, you're the top guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't think things change too much for me. I just got to keep it simple, play my game, uh, move the puck to my line mates and, you know, drive the net. Just do the things I did last year and, uh, I mean, uh, I got the opportunity again to play with great players. So you play with great players, you know, success will come eventually. Thank you so much. Thank you. Day two of the Bauer Showcase comes to an end right behind us here at the Prospera Centre. One more day to go, Nick. Uh, a lot of stops we're pulling out. Do you think the biggest day will be tomorrow? You always have to say the final day is uh, the last day, or pardon me, the biggest day is the final day. But, of course, the past two days have been wonderful. We've had a ton of games today alone on day two. There has been six games, and tomorrow, 
no less as well. So you're going to see a lot of fans tomorrow because nobody wants to miss out on the BCHL showcase. Uh, first game tomorrow is Power versus Salmon Arm Silverbacks. Silverbacks did lose against Victoria Grizzlies. A, a tough game, though, battled. Uh, what kind of game is that going to look like? Well, Salmon Arm is hopefully going to be looking for some revenge. They had a good start to the game against the Victoria Grizzlies, but the Fitzgerald triplets, they got in the way of the W for Salmon Arm. And, of course, as we mentioned last night on the broadcast, Powell River has a very young team, and we'll see how they can uh, stand the test of time and stand the test of age, that is, the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. Uh, Prince George Bruce Kings versus the Nanaimo Clippers. Uh, another tough battle that's going to be. Well, we saw today from the Nanaimo Clippers, Mr. Jason Argue stopping 43 shots. Unbelievable. That guy was rock solid. It's going to be tough to see if any pucks will get past him. It's almost He was almost unbeatable, you could say, although five goals were scored against him. He stopped everything else in sight. And the final game tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at the Prospera Center. The Vernon Vipers taking on the host team, the Chilliwack Chiefs. What a game that'll be. Oh, the Vernon Vipers, of course, they're hosting the 2014 RBC Cup. And the Chilliwack Chiefs, they're hosting the 2013 Bauer BCHL Showcase. So two hosts going at it and two great teams. We're going to see a dogfight and we're going to see one heck of a game tomorrow night. I agree. Thank you for watching of BCHL Central. Tomorrow we'll do two more shows, one pre-taped and one live right here from the Prospera Center. I'm Tally Count for Nick Bazer and Bill Stewart and Christopher Munz-Micklin. Have a fantastic night. Goodbye, everyone.